singer-songwriter and what I'm really doing is I think what, what all artists do, we just share our experiences, the way we see the world. And that's what I'm doing. Um, it just so happens that my experience is one of a homosexual, so I include that in my art. And hopefully it resonates with people in it. You know, there's a lot of, of literature, a lot of films that deal with the homosexual experience, but not so much music, so, you know, that's what I do. I, I include it in my music. <laughs> of cool gigs um, but what I was really excited about with the Brooklyn Museum show was that it was the first out and proud for a Saturday event that they were having there and that was you know it was just really cool to be invited to be a part of that mix. Today we're at the Brooklyn Museum and I'm one of the artists being featured this evening. Um, it's a special first Saturday because it's an out and proud first Saturday so I'm really excited to be here. I've got an incredible band, and the rehearsals have been incredible. So I'm really excited about getting on stage and just sharing what we have been working on. And I need to take this, take this. <laughs> Tonight we have the award-winning performer, Naj. Uh, please join me in welcoming Naj. Music is the song I'm singing. Music is the way I'm giving. Music is my life, the meaning. I see the effect, you know, music and singing has on people and it's really cool. And it just speaks to what music means to me as a singer-songwriter and and for me what it means is, you know, it's happiness. It brings me it brings me peace, it brings me happiness, and I try to share that in the performance. Music is the space I pray in, music is God blessing me. Music is the place I go to when the world is trusting me. Music is the sea I swim in, music waves wash over me. Music is the point I dream of when I close my eyes to sleep. Yeah. So I got like the dream band, right? I got um, yeah, Swiss Chris on drums, and he was—he's been the MD for John Legend. And Swiss Chris hooked me up with the bass player Clark Dark, and he's like an amazing bass player. And then we had John Adams, who's like been the MD of like Keith Sweat. And then, of course, I had on guitar, we had um, Marcelo Cardoso, and he's played with me, you know, from the very beginning of my career. So I was like in like the perfect hands, like all these guys who are like super talented. It was like a dream come true as a songwriter to hear them kind of bring the songs and take them to another level. So I also had a chance to have background singers. We had um, Ishmael, who I've sung with in church from ever since that we were like teenagers. And um, David, who I've sung with before, and our new guy was Cameron. And, and also just like a group of like really, you know, super cool, talented, you know, singers. Guys you'd want to kind of be around with. I don't ever really feel like I write songs or all, you know, I feel more like there's, I don't know, a dimension of music and, you know, I just have, I can hear it and, you know, I, I write down and sing what I hear. And sometimes, you know, it's quick and in 15 minutes, you know, it's all kind of here. 
and other times it you know it takes longer. I'm happy that I can you know I do have you know I can hear these songs. That's how I think of 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 my writing process. So it's more like um, hearing or you know stilling myself and and kind of being a transmitter or allowing something to to come into this world. First I got an Out Music Award for the song. And then next, the music video for this song climbed all the way to number one on MTV Music. That's the love song. That's <laughs> that song is about you know making love with someone you love, and it's kind of like my biggest, most kind of popular song. There are some songs you know when I write them, it's like when when they're finished, you go like, oh, this is it. You know, people are really gonna like this. And, and then there are other songs where you go like, well, you know, I like this. I don't know if anyone else will. And love was one of those songs where it was like, you know, I love it. But, you know, but it's just kind of taken off and really kind of had a life of its own, so, which is really cool. <laughs> and now love is here. That song is about a male couple who's been in a relationship for you know years and years, and it just kind of narrows down to you know a particular morning when you kind of just wake up and the sun is streaming through the window, and one partner looks over at the other one and just kind of thinks about you know the relationship and you know at the beginning of a relationship you never know where it's going to take you, but now after all these years you know we're still together and it's really. It's really quite wonderful. He loves, 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 What I also wanted to capture was that, you know, even though it is a male and male relationship, the underlying things like love and commitment and, and you know, those are still it's it's still very important to a homosexual relationship just like it is to you know any other type of relationship yes things will get better your days will look brighter yeah 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 i promise it will yes i promise it will A happy author, traveling on this life's journey. Adam and Steve, through his story, affirm true love succeeds. Adam and Steve, a harmony, brother, my son, achieve. Adam and Steve, you hold the key, trusting your soul to keep. 
Like I grew up in church and my dad's a minister and I must have gone to some church service and heard, you know, God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, you know. And I, you know, I don't agree with that. I think, you know, the only, the only creative force in this, in our, in our world is God. So anything that's here that was created comes from God. And um, so I wanted to kind of speak to that in a song, just to, to offer some kind of affirmation, some kind of empowerment. We are all God's perfect children. You hear me say, we are all God's perfect children. Yeah, yeah, we are all God's perfect children. We are all God's perfect. We are all God's perfect children. I'm going to speak my truth and I'm going to share with you who I am regardless of how anyone else thinks or feels. It's not as important as, as kind of owning myself and owning my truth. Open your hearts and let love march in. Courage will see the minds of money to play. Knowing the truth of how God made you. Just embrace your true soul. Just set to love one another. Even as I do love you. So yeah, that's, that's the Gloria song. And hopefully, you know, people who listen to the song will will kind of be inspired to own their own truth. And it doesn't matter if, you know, it doesn't matter if you're gay or straight. Or the, I think what's important is for you to own who you are. My brother, I'm writing this to tell you I love you. You were there and I made it through. Brother is, you know, just saying thank you to, you know, to to the man in my life who made me kind of the man and the artist that I am today. And that's where I had, you know, my brother Sam come up on stage and, and the poet Sean 360X. Oh, I love you. I don't write about what's wrong in the world. I don't. I don't do that. I think there's lots of stuff that I write about what's wrong, and so I don't need to contribute to that. I think. I think we need to be reminded of you know what's good and what's nice and what's so. That's where I come from. I write about the good in in my life, or the good, or what I hope for, or. Um, so, so I think anyone who, who, is, who is interested, who views life from that standpoint as, you know, I'm, I'm going to be grateful for what is here or, you know, we, you know hoping for or working towards a, a, a kind of better world. If you're kind of along those lines, I think you'll appreciate my music. Dun, 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 dun. If you know what I'm talking about, say yeah, yeah. If you know what I'm singing about, say yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know what I'm talking about, say yeah, 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 yeah. If you know what I'm singing about, say yeah, 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 yeah,